Now, there's another thing that we can do using the splice function. And let's take a look at that. We can take out two elements within the array there, and we can actually replace with another element. So say you wanted to put in thunder. Let's try that. Once again, it took away sun showers, it took away blue sky, but it put its own element back in in its place. So that's the fourth argument of the splice function. That is to interpolate an extra list in the same place as the place where we took out the elements. So the splice function is actually very multi-purpose. We can do, use it to do all sorts of things. For instance, if we took the number 2 and made it 0, we're actually telling the splice function, if we look at the arguments in order, first of all, this is the array that we want to work on. Then this is the place in the array that we want to work on. Then this is the number of elements we want to remove. And now we've set it to 0. So th this time, the splice function is not actually going to remove any elements at all, but it is going to put an extra one in its place, thunder. And we don't just have to put one in, we could put in snowstorms as well if we wanted. So now we run our script. The splice command echoes nothing because it has taken no elements away from our array. Once again we've put in thunder and we've also put in snowstorms into the array. And it's popped those in at the position 1, which is the second element. And sun showers, blue sky and drifting fog have all moved up to make room. Another thing we can do to our array would be to sort it. We can sort our array like this. We're asking Perl to now sort our array alphabetically. Now we've got blue sky comes first because it begins with B, and drifting fog, and so on. Now this doesn't work in quite the way you might imagine it at first sight. If then, after sorting our array, sorting our weather array, we then try and print it again, let's go back to our command prompt and see what happens. That's not too clear. What I'm going to put in there is an extra new line break so that we can see the two print functions separately. Now the first of these here, blue sky, drifting fog, is clearly arranged alphabetically. The second one is in the order in which we put it before the sort happened. So what's happened there? Let's take a look back. Our sort function is not actually changing the order of the array. What it's doing is it's just taking the array and producing a set of output based on sorting the weather array in uh, alphabetically. If we wanted to actually make the weather array sorted permanently, we'd have to do this. We'd have to take the weather array here, sort it, and then set the value of the weather array to the output from the sort function. Although this may seem like a couple of extra keystrokes here, it does allow us a greater degree of flexibility. We're able to perform functions like sort on our arrays, but we don't necessarily have to alter what's in the array permanently. We can just do it for a second, and then we can undo it. Another thing we can do is to reverse its contents. So now thunder comes first. Once again, however, the reverse function works exactly the same way as the sort function in that it doesn't make any changes to the contents of the weather array unless we specifically tell it to by doing something like this.